video today we're doing WNBA player props here on price picks before I get started though there is a link in the description below to sign up for price picks if you are not yet signed up for price picks they will match 100% of your first deposit also a free discord link and patreon link in the description of this video as well but so we have three games on the WNBA slate today so you that means a ton of player props to choose from we got Connecticut versus Minnesota Dallas for Chicago Seattle versus Phoenix Seattle versus Phoenix should be a pretty good game um, hoping these other two games can be pretty competitive just want to preface, the WNBA has been super, super tough as of late, and uh, I don't know what, you could you could call it whatever you want to call it, but uh, I just want to do preface this, that these plays have been super, super tough. You could find a player that has five straight greens, smashing her over every single time, and then she'll completely just give you nowhere near the over on that one. So just want to mention that it's been tough. The WNBA has been super, super tough. I think we can all agree on that. It has really, really been a struggle. But nonetheless, we're coming back three plays. I think these three plays I'm giving you guys today have extreme, extreme value. Right now, currently, again, these props could bump quite a bit of like six hours from now is when these games are going to start. So definitely some time for these props to change. But nonetheless, right now, I think these plays have extreme value. Again, I'm not a gambling expert. This is not financial advice. These are just the plays that I'm personally looking at making. But yeah, let's get into it. Not, not waste any time. Some housekeeping notes. John Quell Jones is going to be out again. Um, it was, she did have some pro, uh, props on the board. I guess those have come off. Demiris Dantas is out as well. So Jessica Shepard's going to get some more minutes there, as well as Sylvia Fowles is obviously going to play her ample amount of minutes. Courtney Vandersloot is out, so Allie Quigley and Kalia Copper are going to be playing a ton of minutes. And then, um, obviously, these players are still out for Phoenix, the Shields, Griner, and Nurse. But let's get into it, you guys. Three plays. Don't want to waste anyone's time. Let's go. First play is going to be a rebounding prop, and it's going to be Alyssa Thomas, who I believe has been the biggest benefactor um, of John Quell Jones being out. Six and a half is the prop, and these two last games with John Quell Jones out, she's had 14 rebounds and 13 rebounds. Surprising to me right now, currently, that her prop is still sitting at six and a half. Um, I think last week or her last game, it was even at seven. So surprising that's at six and a half. I think this is a crazy value right now for her, Alyssa Thomas. She obviously has been playing more minutes with John Quell Jones being out. Um, but you can see here, I mean, over her last five games, eight rebounds, six rebounds, six rebounds, four, re 14 rebounds, and 13. So even with John Quell Jones, she has the ability to rack up these rebounds pretty significantly, 12, 10, 11, 9. Just, I mean, she's a rebounding machine on the season, averaging eight rebounds. Her line is six and a half. Pretty crazy here that the line is still six and a half. I do think this has a chance of pumping. I think this right here, to me, this is the play of the day right now. Currently, I like Alyssa Thomas here over six and a half rebounds for her tonight against Minnesota. The next play is, the next two plays actually are both going to be assist plays. The first one is going to be Courtney Williams over three. I think this is some crazy value considering this has been a pusher better five of her, her last five games. Three, five, four, three, and six assists for Courtney Williams here. Um, taking a look here at the potential lineup for the Connecticut Sun, Alyssa Thomas and Courtney Williams has really been that playmaker for the team in you know, distributing the basketball, kind of giving a steady hand with John Quill Jones being out, obviously, last season's MVP. But Courtney Williams, three assists on the season. She is averaging um, around three assists on the season. You can see, we'll check a look at her game log really quickly. But over her last six games, four, three, five, six, four, three, six assists. Um, I just think this is crazy value right here at three assists. Again, these lines have been tough, super tough as of late. Just keep that in mind. But I think this is some good value considering she has had a push her better five of her last five games. And then the last prop that I'm going to give you guys today is going to be Jessica Shepard over three. Now, Demiris Dantas is out tonight. I'm not sure what she's out with. And Collier has been out for a while. Personal. So Dantas is out. Jessica Shepard is going to slide into that starting spot. And Jessica Shepard has hit at least three assists her last two games. You know, like this is pretty decent for a center in the WNBA. Three, four, two, five, and seven assists. Um, again, last two games, five and seven assists. Come, obviously, going to play more minutes tonight, which makes it that much more intriguing. Um, I think there's opportunities for her in this offense with um, the players that are in this, you know, lineup with her: Caleb McBride, Mariah Jefferson, Ariel Powers, and Sylvia Fowles. Jessica Shepard, you know, plays a similar role to me, like an Al Horford type. Gets the ball, you know. In a kick, one more kick, extra pass is made by her, and that's going to get her assist. So I like Jessica Shepard over three assists here. Um, these are the three props. Definitely some different props, but I feel like this is kind of going to be my strategy now. Just with the way the NBA has been working out and playing as of late on prize picks, it's been super, super tough to predict these. 
So I'm going to kind of go a little bit different, not going super mainstream players here, going with my gut and definitely going with these smaller prop lines that have a greater percentage of possibly hitting. So these three plays here, it's going to be Alyssa Thomas over six and a half boards, uh, Courtney Williams over three assists, and Jessica Shepard over three assists as well. Please let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these props. Drop a like on this video. Again, there is links in the description below of this video. Hit that subscribe button, and as always, you guys have a great day.